Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get BNB into your trust wallet. I'm going to be showing you guys two different methods to do this. One being purchasing BNB directly in your trust wallet from your credit card, if you would like to do that, or showing you guys how to purchase BNB inside the Binance application, which is what I would recommend just because it's cheaper. You pay less fees and less of a rate. So it is better to purchase it through Binance, but I know some people like how easy it is to purchase through trust wallet. So I'll show you guys both ways. Very, very simple to do. So first things first, we'll head over to trust wallet and I'll show you guys how to purchase BNB and be inside a trust wallet so starting from your home page in your trust wallet here you just want to go over to where it says bnb click on that and then right here it'll say buy bnb so if you guys just go ahead and click on buy bnb it will then show you the amount of bnb that you have to purchase so minimum 150 and then it shows you your providers that you could choose from so right now currently moonpay is the cheapest provider if you would like to see the other providers available you can go ahead and click on this little arrow then you will see two different options here that I have currently, MoonPay and Simplex, but MoonPay is the best rate on here, so I'd recommend MoonPay. Anyhow, once you type in the amount of BNB that you want to purchase here, you can just click on Next, and then it will open up MoonPay here or whatever provider that you had available to you. You'll just have to sign up and then put in your credit card information, but once you put through the transaction, your BNB will then show up inside of your trust wallet right here. Uh, now, it's very important, though, if you guys are looking to invest in BNB and just hold your BNB, then you're good to go here. Uh, but if you guys are looking to purchase other coins with your BNB, you will have to swap it over to the Smart Chain Network. So once you guys do purchase your BNB, to swap it over to the Smart Chain Network, you just have to click on BNB again, click on more, and then click on swap to Smart Chain here at the bottom. If you guys don't have your BNB in the Smart Chain and you go to purchase other coins with it it will not show your bnb in your balance on pancake swap so it's very important that you guys have it in your smart chain uh, anyhow that's how to purchase bnb through the trust wallet application the next thing i'm going to show you guys is how to purchase bnb through binance which is the cheaper way to do it and then transferring it over into your smart chain wallet or your bnb wallet depending on what you guys are doing because like i said if you guys transfer it into the bnb wallet uh, that would be perfect for investing in just bnb but if you want to buy other tokens you can transfer it into your smart chain wallet now we're going to head over to Binance and I'll show you guys how to transfer BNB over to either your smart chain wallet or your BNB wallet, depending on what you guys are trying to do with it. So we'll just go over to our Binance application and open that up. Now to purchase BNB in Binance, you can do it just from the homepage here where it says credit and debit card. You can just go ahead and click on that. And that's going to ask you to choose a crypto that you want to purchase. And once we have it loaded here, we can click on BNB. And then here we could type in the amount of currency that we want to exchange into BNB. So let's just say for the video's tutorial's sake, we can just go and type in 150. We then have to click on continue. And then it's going to ask us to choose a payment method. So I normally pay with my card on here. So all we have to do now is click on confirm. And then our BNB will then be purchased and put into our wallet. So once we have that done and our BNB is in our wallets, we can just head over to our wallets and just type in BNB here. And you, once you find your BNB wallet location, you can click on BNB, click on withdraw. And now we're gonna have to get the address here for our trust wallet. Now, depending on what you guys are doing, there's two different networks and two different addresses that you would have to put in here. So if you guys are looking to just put your BNB inside of your trust wallet and just invest in BNB and hold your BNB, you guys can just send your tokens to the BNB wallet on trust wallet. But if you guys are looking to purchase other coins with your BNB, you could send it over to the smart chain wallet. So to the difference for that is if you head over to your trust wallet, uh, if you want to send BNB over, you want to get the address for your BNB right here. But if you want to send it over to invest in other tokens, you want to make sure you click on Smart Chain, and then you want to get the address for here. So for this video tutorial, I'll show you guys how to transfer it over into your Smart Chain. So all you guys have to do is click on Receive on your BNB Smart Chain, and then click on Copy for the wallet address. We can then head back over to our Binance and open that up. And what you guys want to do is you want to paste that address in the top address section up here. So I already have mine whitelisted, so I can just click on my address here. But for you guys, you're going to want to copy your address. And then here it's going to ask for network. Now, if you guys are sending it to your smart chain wallet, you guys have to send it on the BEP20 network, the BSC network like I have here. But if you guys are just sending it to your BNB address, you can switch the network and to BEP2. And that's what you want to do if you want to send the BNB directly to your BNB address. But for this video tutorial, we'll keep it on the BEP20 network and click on confirm. Now we just have to type in the amount of BNB that we want to send over to our trust wallet. So just type that number in here. And once you guys are done doing that, you can click on withdraw. And then your BNB will then be withdrawn to your trust wallet. It normally takes about two to three minutes. Uh, but you guys can head back over to your trust wallet. And then your BNB will then arrive here, either in your smart chain or your BNB wallets. Anyhow, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know down below. I know it might have been slightly confusing, uh, but I will be able to answer any questions that you guys have, hopefully. Uh, anyhow, I really hope this is able to help you guys out. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.